Right, am I live? I think I'm live. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> Is there anyone there? If there's anyone there, say hello. <laughs> you have to say hello in the comments box. There should be like a chat now box, I think, down below. Let me see if I go into my chat thing. If I say something, if I say hi, maybe that might pop up. So I've said hi. Right, so if you're there, hi. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to check with my, yeah. I am going live for the first time. So if, you're, if you've come along, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, I've heard some people might be dipping in whilst they're cooking dinner and stuff. So uh, yeah, just shutting the door there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just do a bit of crochet. So let me just see if... I can show you what I've set up I and uh, yeah Ooh. right so if I do if I do this you should be able to see my hands so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start doing a bit of crochet so um, let me get onto my comments a bit hi hi Zoe and Midnight Crafter yay I've got people there <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna do a bit of crochet so I am just gonna start doing a bit of this and then I'll flick back to me in a minute hello from France wow I can see your chat but I don't see the live phone is it my phone it's rubbish oh I don't know um, I'm pretty sure if someone else can say that they can see me then that would help Katie Bo Cold Michigan. Oh my goodness, there's lots of you. <laughs> hello. All right, let's do a bit of this. Let's say hello. Let's do hello, everyone. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? So, um, how is everyone? Hope everyone is well. I'm just going to do a bit of crochet down here. So there's lots of you. So Katie Bo, did you, can you see me now? Oh, Zoe, you have no idea. We have been... Zoe is 24 karat crochet, by the way. I'm sure people know her. You have no idea. Martin, I have to say, all of this fancy stuff has been set up by the Mr. Mr. Martin. Hello, Sally. <laughs> yes, um, he has set up this amazing system where I just press a button and then you can see my hands. How amazing is that? <laughs> They're live. Look, it's live because I'm, I'm doing one finger. <laughs> And now if I click back here, you should be able to see me. So hopefully that's working. Can you tell me that that is working? Because I think it is. <laughs> I don't know if it is. So. so, yes, Zoe, it's very fancy and it's way beyond my crochet brain. So thank you, Martin, who has made this possible. Hello, Lena. Thank you for blowing me a kiss. Stephanie, waiting on the worst. Oh, I hope you're feeling better after that. SK Myers, hello. Oh, Jean, hello. How's Ireland? Is it cold like it is here? <laughs> cold and damp and foggy. Yeah, Martin is very clever. Yes, he is. So, shall I flick onto the um, the crochet? Oh, naughty mum. I'm glad you can see me now. Christine, awesome, hello. Yes, Sally, he's a clever chap, isn't he? So, I'm going to do this so you can see I'm just going to be making a doily and um just seeing if anybody has any questions because I'm, I'm not this is my video this is my weekend video this weekend because um well everyone else is doing this live stuff so I thought that I would do it too and I'm just making um the doily here that you know the simple one the pink one I get a lot of questions about that um on if I can make it bigger also can can you hear me all right can everyone hear me all right I'm not too sure if my, because this is like the visual part is from my um, webcam. So I don't know if people can hear me very well, because when I record vlogs on that, I normally have to turn the volume right up. So, oh, Martin's there. He's just, <laughs> he's checking in, he's checking on how to make doilies, of course. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see me now, Katie Bat. Yay. Hi, Nicola. Sally, thank you very much. I can't take any of the credit for this working at all. None of it. <laughs> it's all been, even onto my high-tech backdrop, which I'm now going to flick onto because I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> it's 
bed sheet with some lights behind it. <laughs> it's all good stuff here, you know, all high tech. Oh, has everyone got their tea with them or their hot drink of choice or drink of choice? Thanks, Zoe. Good to know. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, I do appreciate everyone coming. I thought I was going to be sitting here on my own for ages. So I can hear you great watching on the telly. Uh oh, Mary, don't put me on the telly. I'll get a head swell. <laughs> Christine, I'm so glad you're live. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Yes, isn't it just brilliant technology now? So we can all sit here and have a nice uh, <laughs> 49 inch, t I need a 49 inch TV to get me all in. <laughs> right, I'm having a sip of tea now, to calm my nerves. Mm. Yeah, no caffeine. I thought I didn't need it. <laughs> Nikki, hi. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm liking this. I'm loving this. So is everyone like, just got pro projects going on it's a shame that I can't see what you you're doing but then you probably don't want that do you, you don't really want to be broadcast right I'm going to flip back to the crochet because you don't want to see my face there we go right and I've got I've lost count now I've got to count again but then crochet is counting isn't it talking to me while crocheting will result in me counting louder that's how it works isn't it one two three four five six seven eight look oh thank you penny <laughs> now now let's not get tv size envy here <laughs> you don't have a brew yeah definitely give him a shout definitely you need you need your brew so i said so somebody said they're in well, we've got france got, we've got uk pretty well much covered i think and ireland oh yeah stephanie that's a good point yeah you can make them bigger with bigger yarn but i think people want to make them wider but um Fancy tea today, <clears throat> just normal stuff. I've got peppermint tea, Zoe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, nice, Nikki. Yeah, they're lovely to make those, aren't they? You get such nice straight edges with those um, corner to corner blankets. Hi, Rita. Hello. Yes, if you just, yeah, let me know where you are. Um, Sorry, I'll have to flick up in the comments now. So, someone said Michigan. Did someone say Michigan? Sorry. There's a lot going on in my head right now, I can tell you. <laughs> mainly panic and fear, mainly panic and fear. I've lost count now. I'm just going to keep going so it looks about right. That's what we all do, don't we? Yeah, Zoe, I, yeah, I can see you've caught the virus for virus shawls. <laughs> they, are, they are rather uh, addictive, aren't they? I like that one that you're doing at the moment, the one that you're posted on Instagram. Um, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hello, Teresa. That's a nice place. That's a nice name, isn't it? Tulsa. Sorry, I'm going for the tea again. Yes, there's nothing in my tea to settle my nerves, by the way. <laughs> um, Cheltenham. Right, we are represented in Cheltenham. That's good to know. <laughs> my nan came from Cheltenham. So, right, so we're going to go counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16. I did three more than I needed. There we go. Nicola, you're making your first cardigan for yourself. Yes, I have made some garments. I have made. Um, all right, let's talk to you. Let's do button. Let's do impressive stuff. I have made a. I made. I think they're called top down. It was a. It was a short sleeve cardigan. And they're top down, so you sort of you work like a, a round neck part, and then you keep going down, and then you sort of cut out a chunk for holes. That doesn't that's not a technical term. So if you imagine that you're going round and round, so you start you sort of make a gap that we would fit your arm through. So you sort of just do some chains to make the arm, and then you just carry on going round. Um, if you have Instagram and you go back a long way. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll post a picture on my Facebook page if you if you do that. So um I'll show you that. But yeah, they're they're really good to make, especially for kids, because they're really, you just start off, it's all one piece basically, and they're really easy to make. So what kind of one are you making? Are you making one similar? Or is it going to be more like a knitted style where you then have to sew it all up? I'd like to know Nicola. <laughs> um hello from hello to Houston, Canada, Nancy, hello. Florida, wow. <laughs> Emma, is that Michigan? Sorry. Ohio. Nathan, you're making, oh, love those five point star blankets. Aren't they really fun? Uh, apart from when it gets big. <laughs> apart from when it gets big. 
right? <laughs> and then you've got so much more to go. Yes, Jean Pitney, yes. Not brave enough to make a garment. Oh, come on, Zoe, you could totally make a garment. You make, yes, that's just silly. Of course you can make a garment. <laughs> that's, they're really easy. Oops, Tulsa. Uh, oh, that's okay, Rita. Thank you for watching them. <laughs> um, I have sewn stuff. Yeah, ah, oh, do you know what, Zoe? You can make, do you know what, Zoe? The best top to make is some squares which you then, so you've got enough to go over the shoulders, enough to come around the top part, and then you can just sew some fabric to the bottom and then you've got a really nice um, top. I've got one, I think. Maybe you've seen it. Maybe you've seen me wear that. I don't know. I've worn it in a vlog before, I'm sure. It's got pink. It's 9.30, yes, 9.30pm here. It's 3.40pm. Where are you? Did you say? Have I seen where you are? Have you already said? Don't know. So where are you? Yeah, Nicola, I could do that. Yeah, top down. They're so easy. Yeah, they're brilliant actually because um, you can kind of shape it in and out as you're going. You really um, got because you know when you start making things like knitting, knitting stuff, you end up like knitting this pattern and you think you've got it right and then you finish it and then it just doesn't fit it's either massively long too big or it's too small it's for a child but um yeah this top down thing is brilliant it's a really good idea um what else have we got i've always had a ripple blanket on the go <laughs> right here yeah, i've always got projects on the go but yeah the, the ripple blankets are fun hello from west scotland west coast of scotland oh lovely we went to scotland last year for the first time we went to and it's completely gone out of my head now. Mar Martin, if you're there and watching, you could comment where we went because I've completely forgotten. <laughs> I said there was a lot going on in here, didn't I? We loved it, by the way. Absolutely, oh, I'd love to go again. Yeah, Zoe's got loads of plods, hasn't she? Yeah, you should do it. Yeah, they do look fun. Dragons, oh yes, dragon scales. Dragon scale fingerless gloves. They are good. I've made some. I've made a pair. I, put, I did end up putting fingers on them, but they look ridiculous because the fingers look like massive long sausages. But, you know. um, funny but pretty. Uh, 10, 20 to 10 in the evening here. Okay. Yeah. That's here. Yeah. Um, has the video started? Yes, we have started. I'm talking. I'm here. In California, Arkansas. I've got to do more than just read out where everyone's from, though. But I'm trying to make sure if people are asking me questions <laughs> that I'm not missing it. It would be nice if Facebook page of Autumn added. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But I don't think those two things, um, Facebook and ad was added automatically when you subscribe. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that works. Could you post some tutorials on Filet? Do you know what? Filet crochet is something I keep meaning to do. And, and I keep getting these big ideas about how I need to turn it into a series because it's not just as simple as it looks. There's lots of different ways of making it different it is completely simple don't get me wrong because you know i do i do simple stuff but um yes no definitely i do need to do that it's probably one of the few things i haven't covered isn't it and it is really nice like i think most people think of fillet crochet as um i don't think i've got anything i can show if people don't know what i'm talking about no i haven't got anything to hand um but yes we'll do that definitely who wrote that Rita, definitely Rita, I will be doing that. Um, hi Brenda, Texas, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Zoe, yeah, you do, <laughs> you always, yeah, but everyone's got loads of projects, don't worry about it, that's what everyone does. Messy bambinis, oh yes, they're good fun, aren't they, because so you can put your hair up and not have to cramp. Neath, that's where we went, we went to Neath, well done, thanks Martin. <laughs> oh. Brain fart. Sausages, yeah. <laughs> yes, if anyone hasn't, if anyone, I'm sure people do know who Zoe is, 24 karat crochet, but she makes these lovely, um, like dinosaurs, are they? Type of thing, because she calls them plod. Is that what they're called? Plod. They're called plod, but that's not a dinosaur name. <laughs> it's not a proper dinosaur name, is it? Plod. Anyway, they're cute. Go and check those out. Um, 24, yes, serial project starter. I think you are well done. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably have forgotten ones that I've started. Yeah, we're all the same, aren't we? See, Zoe, you're not, you're not alone. Hmm. 
yeah, it's good to have different things going, isn't it? Talking of going thing, things going, right, let's get back to this. Ta-da! <laughs> Showing off now, aren't I? So, I just finished crocheting a blanket and already started a hat for my granddaughter. Brilliant. Right, let's join that with a slip stitch. So, if um, you haven't seen this video, I will link to it after the video has, after we've finished. Um, I'll do a video on this doily and basically people have asked me how to make it bigger and I'm, I've mentioned it a few times, like I've, it's not always easy to understand what someone else has written is it, so I'm just doing a round here where I'm putting a chain in between the trebles, so what I say is, I say increase the number of chains as you go round on the um, like these rows where you do trebles so the next row because I've done a chain in between these trebles here and the next row I'll do two, two chains so if you want to make it bigger you could do a third round and put three chains in between so um, that's I'm going to link that to this to people who asked me that question that's basically how you do it so if I was just turned around here so that's three chains to represent a treble one two chains and then I'll do my trebles so there's the chains that go in between the trebles so you can see you're making it bigger as you go around and then that stops it from curling up so what have I missed here uh, thank you for this live chat from the Philippines goodness hello Penny <laughs> that's a long way Bahrain I have a question if I want to do overalls but I use a hook number four in the pattern is 4.5 it's a change in size so I think you're saying let's go back to this let's go back to this so um, right so you're asking if your pattern says you've got a four and a half to use a four and a half mil hook but you are using a four you're saying four and a half mil hook that's what the pattern is saying but you're using a four mil hook um, are you saying what's the pattern difference so it will go smaller it will end up a little bit smaller um, than what the pattern is saying and it's pretty it's hard to sort of say what size um, or how many stitches difference that you should make but um, what I would say is maybe make up a little sample so it's a usual you use your yarn and use your four mil hook if that's what you're saying make up a sample and measure it so measure it um, make a sample of like 30 stitches long by 10 stitches or something like that you know nothing too big but just and then you can measure it and then you can go to your pattern and work out if your pattern size so your pattern will tell you how big it should be when it's finished I'm explaining this badly I'm sorry when your pattern is finished it should say how big your pattern should be so if it's a garment, you should say how wide it should be. So if you measure your stitches and you can see you could, uh, your ratio of how many more it will be, you might find that you're not far off what the pattern says. So you can uh, compensate for it that way. But um, otherwise, you know, it's a little bit hit and miss when you do things like that. But for half a mil isn't drastically much smaller. So you might find, if you could try and crochet a bit looser maybe, you might be all right. You might get away with that. I know lots of people who would normally just go for half a mil hook, bigger or smaller, depending on their tension. I'll also put in this um, video description box a link to my video on tension, crochet tension, um, and I go through quite in depth about um, using a different sized hook, so hopefully that will help you. I hope that's kind of helped, but I don't think that you're going to have too much of a problem with half a mil. You should be alright. I think you'll probably be alright. So I hope that helped. Um, I think Zoe's talking about the plods. They're not a beginner project. Yeah, they're a bit of a commitment, aren't they? Hello, Darlene. Working on a moorland blanket. Oh, I've not heard of that. What's that? <laughs> I'll have to look that up now. Isn't that the rule for crochet? To have multi... Yes, absolutely, Naughty Mum. Completely. You must, must have lots of different projects going. <laughs> Uh, I've made a couple of shapes before the plod hack and the sex pexagon. 
clover pom pom maker. Yes, I've tried one of those. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? I think I did a video on that. Or did I show you on how to make one without those? I don't know. I'll have to look now. And if I haven't, I'll definitely do one because they're good fun. I like making pom poms anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I've got a set of them too, Zoe. <laughs> you can't... Have you, uh, there's one that's massive, isn't there? There's one that's like huge. don't know what size pom-pom that is because they squish down a bit once you've made them. Hi, Amy. Oh, thank you. Chevron blankets. Oh, lovely. Oh, I do like... I haven't made one for myself, actually, but I do like the chevrons. Red. Everyone's making pom-poms. Does anyone have a mannequin head? Oh, Lynn, I think Zoe's got a couple of those. I've got one in storage, but it's a polystyrene one. Yeah, uh, Zoe. Might be able to help you there. Yeah, I think Zoe's got those, Lynn. Zoe? <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> I'm having a cup of tea. <laughs> mm. Oh, Darlene, Attic 24 Carl Crochet Along. I haven't seen that one yet good I'm sure it is everything she does is lovely isn't it yeah e Amber that's a good idea isn't it eBay everything's eBay isn't it what can't you get love my tea mug actually it's my husband's one <laughs> where's the camera there it is <laughs> he'll be screaming in the other room don't put that camera over the camera you'll spill tea on everything <laughs> yeah we can hear him can't we mm. yeah they are yeah I bet they're heavy to post as well. Nathan's saying about a glass mannequin head. I bet they're heavy. <laughs> Monty and Python. Well done, Zoe. <laughs> right. Um, so, <laughs> thanks, Nancy. <laughs> um, right, so, sh shall I crochet something? Because I did, oh, do you know what I did? I've got the world's smallest teapot here. Shall I show you the, my world's smallest teapot? It's adorable. There we go. Look at that. My teapot. Oh, I love it. Isn't it cute? That is so cute. I might make a tea cosy for that, but honestly, it only takes a few bit, a little bit of water. I don't think it has enough. Um, yeah, but I won't get, I'll just do a tea cosy for that. Um, right, let's come back. Someone's asked me a question. Uh, uh, Heather. Right, girly bunches. Isn't it a funny name? <laughs> yeah, that... Um, Put the mug down. Yes, Martin, I'll put it down. Oh, Lena, you're welcome. Thank you. And hello to Jordan. Hello from, yeah, because you're in Jordan. Wow, that's, God, I can't believe all these people from all around the world. That's some, that's crazy. Okay, um, right, so Heather Brooke has asked me, I'd love to hear the story behind my channel's name. Well, um, it's all Martin's fault, actually, because when we first, um, <laughs> none, actually, no lumps, Nathan, thank you. No, none in my tea. <laughs> um, he asked, he, I used to wear, no, I was young then, I used to wear my hair in bunches, you see, Ta -da! and I used to wear them up in bunches like that, and he called me girly bunches, that's what he used to call me, and then I had this weird idea that I might make some YouTube videos that somebody might actually watch, <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, you know what, I'll call it girly bunches, because nobody will watch it, and then everybody did, so then I get these questions called, yeah, so what's girly bunches mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a great name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so it's stuck. And um, I like it, and I'm not going to change it. <laughs> so, yes. Um, uh, too pretty to cosy. Oh, I know. Isn't that... I know. Let's go back to the tea... Let's go back to the teapot. It's far more interesting than my face. There we go. Let's just look at that all day. Yeah, I know. Isn't, it's called Polish pottery. I think it's yeah. Polish pottery. Absolutely love everything they do. <sighs> yeah, it's a good story, isn't it, Nancy? <laughs> right. So shall I do this, or I don't know? I don't know what to do. I'm so awkward. I don't know. Let's come back to me. <laughs> Anybody got any more questions? I'll, I'll answer them within reason. <laughs> yeah, I might just um. Alright, okay, alright then. If I was to make a tea cosy, um, what colour should I use? Okay, so I've got pink, I've got turquoise, I've got green and I've got red. 
probably um, maybe pick green and blue maybe 2017 project ideas <laughs> yeah Amy oh goodness I haven't had any project ideas I'm making Martin a cardigan actually at the moment and he's got the world's longest back so I'm, gonna, and I'm knitting that I'm knitting that it's taking forever to do at the moment um just undoing this um oh thanks naughty mum and Heather <laughs> and Nancy <laughs> um red you know what Lonnie and these you're right actually red's just the best color isn't it ever so what should I do? Probably just do like the one I did. Oh, turquoise and green. Oh no. Should I just do them all the colours? <laughs> oh. So, should we do what I did in my video? Let's have a go. <clears throat> this is winging it. This is what I do most times. I want to make something. I wing it every time. People will say to me, how many stitches do you do for that? I have no idea. <laughs> I never know. I just do it. And then I end up undoing it like several times, but you know, it happens. It's all a learning curve, isn't it? Um, so what do you say, Zoe? If I I had a different YouTube name but changed it when I realised someone else. Oh no, what was it? Was it similar to what you you've got now? Pink, blue, and green together. Oh, I'm going. Well, I might just end up doing all the colours. Um. Yeah, all the colours. <laughs> uh, rainbow. Zoe, what was your old channel name? Red or Rainbows? Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's just easier, isn't it? What is the ultimate project you really want to make but haven't got round to yet? That's a great question. Uh, well, I have to think about that now. Because it's not going to be something, mm. it's something silly really. Crochet Addict UK, oh no that's a brilliant name as well isn't it? Oh Zoe, <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a good name too. I know Darlene, aren't they just great teapots? Like, you know, um, hang on, I'm getting all distracted here. I love this, it's like this is probably my favourite video I've ever made. Alright. Naughty Mum, I'm coming back to you. I haven't forgotten you. I'm definitely coming back to you on that. Hang on. One, two, three. Make. Um, what? So, Londy's asking, what is the most confusing pattern you tried in fact? Do you know what, actually? Most patterns... I've tried and failed at because I um, I think I'll, I'm a natural born rebel to be honest <laughs> and I don't like following patterns or something that somebody else has told me to do um, so most patterns I start and then I just do my own thing with <laughs> which is probably why um, I'm not very good at most projects because <laughs> and I end up doing them my own way. Am I doing this right here? I don't think I am now. I've forgotten. Crochet Addict hasn't done it in many videos. Oh, she's active elsewhere. Oh, okay. Right, so she does videos elsewhere then, does she, sorry? Or on blogs and stuff. Yeah, so Londy's hush. Londi, so am I saying that right, Londi? Londi handmade crochet. Um, yeah, most patterns I try, I don't like. Like, I like, that's, I think this is why on my channel, I'm going to come back. Um, I think on my channel, I do a lot of um, stitches, like different textured stitches and things, because I like to be able to make it into something that I want it to be myself, you know, so... I like. I don't really like following a pattern too much, but a, a stitch pattern, so it's textured. I like that, and then you can make it into whatever you want. But um, yeah, I don't. Oh, I can't really think of something that I tried. 
I did have, yeah, I've got quite a few videos that I've <laughs> I've filmed. And then I tried I tried to edit them and I realised they make no sense whatsoever. And um I don't I don't show them. So I've got all this stuff that I could probably show you, but I don't show you because they don't make much sense because there's something I found, like a free pattern I found that I think, oh that looks really nice, and then I go to show do it and then it's finding the right way to explain things to people because it's sometimes it's just easier to do it isn't it and then I and then I and I go oh it's quite it's quite easy and then I spend 20 minutes explaining one part of it and it's just a ridiculous amount of time to, on a video really but I need to sort of work I need to probably do it again to work out how to do it better for you guys so yeah I've got quite a few things like that that's probably the things that annoys me actually because I, I want to show you these things like don't want it to be too wordy you know like a, you know some people say you talk too much but I quite like talking to you you know I talk to myself most of the time I've missed anything here um has anyone tried the virus stitch patterns I've made several virus shorts working on a virus blanket oh a blanket version that would be nice yeah it's fun isn't it Brenda it's nice isn't it because you guys I don't suppose most of you actually talk to each other you sort of you leave me lovely comments but you don't sort of interact with each other so this is nice for everyone isn't it Teapot cosy would be great, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Amber, Amber Fox eighty four. That won't be the se that second one won't be the last one that you make either. You just talked to Zoe. I think she's on her like thousandth one now. <laughs> do you have a project or time or loads of? Do you have one project at time? No, never have one project at a time ever. Have millions of works in progress, and also because I don't follow patterns and I start things. I don't finish them because I kind of leave my subconscious to think about it for a while. So if I'm going, if I don't think it's going in the right direction, I sort of put it to one side. And I'm sure I'm not the only one here that does this. And we'll go, we'll come back to that. Because it's obviously not ready to be made yet. <laughs> does that make sense? And then it might, it might be a week later. It could be a year later. You know, we always have to wait. These things come out at the right time, don't they? They come when they're good and ready, not always when we want them to be. <laughs> She's active on Facebook and Instagram. She actually changed it. Oh, right. Well, don't change yours now. Everyone knows you as 24 karat crochet, Zoe. Everyone pause while I get coffee. Okay. <laughs> Everyone stop. Zoe's gone to get coffee. Let us know when you're back. <laughs> Any suggestions on how to organise store yarn? Yeah. Uh, well, my husband Martin thinks that we're probably we are we're, that we are the uh, storage room for our local craft shop with all the yarn that I've got. So, um, yeah, don't ask me about that. <laughs> if, I suppose if we, I suppose it's not meant for storing; it's meant for making into things. But yeah, we need places to store them. We can just go and look at our yarn and stroke it, and know it's there, ready for us when we're ready. Oh, diet one, well, diet black. I am an Oriville crochet chat to us and read and answer comments all at the same time. Oh, yeah. It's, I, like I said before, there's a lot going on in here right now and it's, it's a lot of conflict. <laughs> like I'm, try, I'm trying to take a sip of tea, but, you know. Huh. Mm, I managed that. Cup of tea here, cup of coffee here and a high... Oh. Oh, hi, Pam. There you are. <laughs> Smart woman tea, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's years. Yeah, absolutely, Nancy. Can't you know we can't rush these things. You know, an artist must not rush its their work, right? <laughs> I miss out on so much. I just YouTube. Oh, Lynn, that's okay. There's lots going on on YouTube. There's plenty, isn't there? We, you know, we, what did they say? Crochet is ninety percent internet. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on Pinterest. Oh, do you know, oh, Brenda, don't get me jealous about you and your Karen yarn. I wish I could get that stuff. I mean, we can get it here, can't we? Not like the range that you can. Oh, what I would do to walk around a yarn store in America. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's where I keep my yarn. <laughs> in a yarn store in America. Oh, yeah, I'd just have to go naked, I think. Wouldn't take any clothes with me and just take a suitcase home full of um, yarn. Oh, hmm. Right, Zoe's back, we can continue. Um, hi Lynn. I'm so grateful for the tutorials. Oh, no, I know it's hard, isn't it? If you can't, I personally find uh, diagrams much easier. You know, like the patterns, diagrams. So I find those much easier to follow personally than having written instructions. I find that can get very confusing. So I do understand, you know, if um, like reading patterns is quite hard for people and 
it's all about visual stuff, isn't it? Yeah, so YouTube's great for that, isn't it? It's just, yeah, I love, yeah, of course I love YouTube. <laughs> Are you going to that event this year? I saw you at last year. No, I'm not, unfortunately. I've got busy, oh, somehow, like, I'm busy until March. I don't know how that happened. Don't go to American <laughs> Yarn Store, it's dangerous, honestly. Yeah, I know, Zoe. You post yours back, though, don't you? Do you? I would have to. I would have to, I'd have to do that. There's no way I could cope. Oh, I'd get arrested for being naked anyway. Oh, I'd love to go on to Rhinebeck. Isn't that what, isn't that, didn't you just go to that, Zoe? Do you? No, I don't want to know how close you live there, Nancy, actually. <laughs> ah, right. Mm, that's nice, Amber. Yes, there you go, Zoe. Um, Lynn, is that, no, who said that? Amber, Amber Fox 84 she talked to Zoe, 24 karat crochet, she went just recently, just end of last year wasn't it, you went, <coughs> losing my voice, mm. I should stop talking and do a bit of crochet, so let's, um, ah, oh, from Egypt, wow, hello, wow, that's amazing, <laughs> did you see Hobbycraft, oh, those yarn cakes, who does those yarn cakes, is that, is that Karen Yarn or is that someone else? Yeah, it's Karen, isn't it? Karen Yarn do those yarn cakes. Oh, I want those so badly. I did buy something similar from Ice Yarns, but they're on the other side of the room. Ah, never mind. They're, they're really nice, but they're cotton, which I like using. No, I just got there with my empty suitcase. Yeah, Zoe, that's probably the best thing to do. Um, Suffer, shuffle, yeah, auto text. Right, back to crochet. Let's have a bit of crochet. Let's bring some order into this, shall we? <laughs> right, I'm trying to do a granny stripe, but I've, I haven't done it for ages. Can't remember how to do it now. Karen cakes, that's it. They're lovely, aren't they? You've got some, haven't you, Zoe? I love those. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you guys, what would you like to see this year? Because I'm thinking about doing a couple. Don't freak out, everyone. I'm thinking about doing some knitting videos. Is that a dirty word? Should I not say knitting? What does everyone think? Oh, Darlene, I know. Isn't that a nightmare having to remember the difference between um, British terms and or UK terms and USA terms? Uh, do you know what? I don't like this now. Do I like this? Don't know. Hmm, what did I do recently? What did I do? Oh, I could do that granny stripe, couldn't I? That granny spike. Do you know? I'm going to let you all into a big secret now. The main reason why I started doing YouTube videos, I think, is because I can't remember what I do. <laughs> I have to, I have to uh, remind myself by doing <laughs> videos. Oh, you want to know everything about crochet? So do I. So do I. I, I don't really know anything about crochet. I know enough to be dangerous, <laughs> as they say. How did I do that granny spike? Someone remind me. I have to watch my video back. Sally, I'd love to brush up on my knitting. Look, cable's such a nice thing to do. Yes, it's Karen. I would, oh, oh, don't, oh, I'll talk to you. I'll message you. Are you on Facebook, Brenda? Yeah. Are we on Facebook? Message me on there and we'll talk about that. I do both. I don't discriminate. <laughs> Amber, oh, that's good to know. Yes. All right, okay, this isn't working, so I'm going to come back to me. Well, no, I'll just see what happens. I'll do some stuff down here. <laughs> I can't remember how to do it now. Right, I did those videos ages ago, that granny, so it's not me being thick, I just, you know, it's only so much I can retain in here. <laughs> I need to watch my video about how embarrassing. Ah, right, I don't have the patience for knitting. Naughty mum, I do agree, I do know what you mean because sometimes it just takes forever, doesn't it, to, um, mm, knitting. Yeah, I'm knitting this uh, cardigan for Martin and 
It's taking forever. Right, one, two, three, four. Right, let's go for this. Let's try this. Uh, Katie Bow, don't tease me with that information. Is that true? Karen Capes are coming to. Ho oh dear. I don't have any red heart in my as. Did that? Does Asda sell yarn? Does it? Oh no. <laughs> don't tell me that. When you're in England. Or. Hang on, I'm getting confused here. Lynn, what's going on? So, are you... Oh, I'm confused now. So, as the, is that, as the UK, is that? Does that sell yarn? All right. Mini Mum, hello. Hi. Are <laughs> you saying hello? I want to try cables in my knitting used to yet. You know what, it's really nice to do. It's a bit... Like, I haven't done it for years. So, this is, this is the thing I'm going to have to sort of brush up on my knitting. Now, I'm not very good at fixing my knitting when it goes wrong, but cables are nice to do, and it gives such a lovely effect. Um, now I can knit. I'm going to uh, Not on Facebook, Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Well, um, I'll, I'll I'll email you then. I'll email you. Yeah, I know, because I wouldn't that be brilliant? I'd be completely bankrupt as well. Yay! <laughs> Martin's not listening, are you? You're not listening to where I'm going shopping, are you? First of your vids I watched was a tea cosy. I learned that stitch to make three. Yeah, I know. Isn't it? It's a great stitch to make, uh, do, isn't it? You really do get um, um, go. It does go quite quickly that um, granny stripe. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed that I've forgotten how to do all my stitches. There you go. It happens, doesn't it? Uh, I would love to try and some carrot I know I think those virus shawls would be awesome in um, that Karen cakes I think lots of people have done them in that haven't they mm. talking and crocheting at the same time doesn't always work does it <laughs> <laughs> too far away from your Asda so are we talking about Asda in the UK because in isn't Asda in America called Walmart am I right as during the UK, that sells yarn, does it? Because I did wonder about this because I know it's a the American company now, isn't it? That one will tell me if I'm wrong. I'm sure. So if they sell Red Heart, do they sell Red Heart yarn? Because I think in the UK, was it Wool Warehouse or Derrimore's, which is an online place? They used to sell Red Heart, but I don't think they sell it anymore, do they? And I did quite like that yarn. Yeah, no, Zoe, you're right. They're, they're just a bit fiddly doing cables. That's all sometimes. The other, you know, if you're not doing it too... If you start off, you know, like most things, if you start off easy, it's not too complicated. It should be, you know... They're, they're, but the effect is brilliant, isn't it? Martin, why are you saying yes? You're not supposed to be listening to us and what we're talking about and where we're buying yarn. <laughs> that would be awesome. I love that I can go get my groceries and yarn at the same time. Oh no, right, Martin, we're going to Asda tomorrow. <laughs> how did I get started in crochet and how you learn? Right, that's a good question. Mm. Oh, sorry, I was just looking at what Lynn said. Well, where's Wool well, Warehouse? It's online. I think you can go to the shop online in the UK, but they do ship to America, I think. I think they do ship abroad. I know there's more places abroad than America, sorry. Uh, they ship abroad, okay. Right. I am going to come back to the other question. Knitting is too slow and complicated for this woman. Is it just me then? No, it's not just you. It's so slow. Like, oh, the the amount, like the time I've spent on knitting, I probably would have finished the actual cardigan if I was crocheting it. This is the one for Martin. I'm still working on the back part, but who is it? Is it Mary? Who's on here? Is it Mary? You knit like lightning you knit so fast i've never seen anyone knit so fast you make like a jumper every week don't you for your husband he's a lucky chap <laughs> my husband will get his his cardigan next winter <laughs> if he's lucky <laughs> um right if are they coming to hobby craft in the spring ah they did do it oh no nicola uh oh right just the largest stores okay Blueberry cheesecake colourways. 
Mm, that sounds nice. Could do a bit of cheesecake right now. <laughs> Poundland yarn. Um, do you know what? I bought some the other week. It's not bad. It's thin. It's quite thin. Like so, it says it's four mil. It says it's double knit, but it's not really. It's quite thin. It's not, it's soft though. Do you know B and M bargains is quite a good place actually, because um, they do some of those larger balls. And I've made a couple of blankets with some of that stuff. And I'll tell you what, they wash up a treat. It's acrylic, but they wash up a treat. Um, so, yes, bar, uh, B&M Bargains, I think that's, yeah, B&M Bargains in the UK, they do yarn. And do you know what I really love about what, what they do there is that they actually wrap um, the balls in separate packages. So they're not sort of all touched by people you know oh, touching things people touch things don't they want to touch everything so yeah being and bargains in the uk it's a good place to get yarn it's quite cheap too um so yeah pound line pound land yarns okay it's just a bit thin that's all um i'll be dangerous in the supermarket so what i know dangerous eh right so who asked me right how did i learn about crochet okay so my mum and my nan taught me how to knit and crochet so we'll go with the knitting first I actually learned to knit first and I think I probably knitted more holes into things than I did proper knitting but I definitely was a knitter first and my mum who was more, so my nan was more into the crochet um knitting and she did um like the feral knitting you know lots of different colors and patterns and things and all that beautiful stuff um she used to do that like, you know, she just breathe it in, just did it, clatter, 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 you know, that was my nan. <clears throat> and um, my mum was, my mum knitted, but she also was more sort of a crochet person. And she was always saying, why don't you try crochet? Why don't you try this? And I can remember doing it and thinking, this is awful. Why would anyone want to do this? It's just so complicated. Just doing one hook and this yarn like how, do you, how are you supposed to hold this is ridiculous I definitely there was definitely throwing it down moments and muttering this is stupid no one would want to do this and then um sadly after my nan passed away the Christmas after I actually just sort of was like right I'm gonna have a go at this because I don't like it when I can't do things so um I persevered and it clicked and I did it and I was like right I like this and I, I just I think I liked it mainly because things grow quicker with crochet as we just discussed versus knitting um and i think you, it's more flexible with the shape i mean um when i say that i mean like you can do the shapes differently with knitting and crochet but you kind of see where you're going like if you can go wrong like if you're going wrong or going in the wrong direction you can correct yourself quickly without having to kind of unpick things which is my sore point i really need to learn how to fix my knitting I think that's probably why I haven't done knitting videos yet because I need to learn how to fix it but yeah that's how I got into crochet and um and I kind of realized I did understand that struggle I think my batteries are going with my light so let me just try this yeah I've got it back up so I'll sort that out in a minute um yeah so the uh that's how I, and so I, I, I understand that struggle with not being able to do it the crochet you know that is the big cro uh, struggle isn't it it's quite a little bit complicated especially if you're a knitter first um so i think I, that's another reason why i started the channel because i i just thought well if i can do it maybe i can show somebody else how to do it who wants to know how to do it right i'm gonna sort this light out because it's bothering me so excuse me right i've got a backup here now what time are we at oh we've merely going for an hour that's me talking rubbish for an hour <laughs> that's easily done I'm good at that. <laughs> right, that's better, isn't it? Is that better? Yeah, I think so. Right. So that was a, a long answer to that question. Mm, yeah, me, 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 me. What have I got here? Love knitting self. Oh, does it? Love knitting. Ah. Yes. Well, I have to look at them as well. But it's not the red heart I've seen in this. Oh, that's interesting, Zoe. So in what way is it different then? What, you mean different... Um, colours and things. Is that what you mean? Uh, I've done quite a few things in past. How have you, Lynn? Yes, the Aran yarn from B&M Bargains is good, isn't it? Yes, that's the one I always use. Is it the, like, the red? It goes from red to cream and has something like a mottled bit in the middle and there was a blue one I did. 
scrubby. I've seen that scrubby. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it'll take. Yes, if you're looking at the Knit Craft Facebook page, there are videos on New York. Right, I'm definitely going to look at that. Currently waiting on £59 of Alap Alp £59! That's a lot of yarn. Ah, oh, yeah, crocheting is great, isn't it? <laughs> My grandmother taught me both, but crochet clicked from right. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It, does, it depends. I think uh, knitting was so much easier for me. I think I got that so much easier. <coughs> and then crochet. Now, yeah, I love it. Yeah, alpaca yarn is nice, isn't it? I, I do you know what? I would love uh, my own alpaca. <laughs> I would love those. I could just go and take some off, <laughs> feed them a carrot or something. Whatever you feed them, I don't know. What do you feed alpacas? I don't know. <laughs> we used to have alpaca. Oh, did you, Darlene? Did you? Oh, I've seen them. Like they just look adorable creatures. So, am I going to be really thick now and ask a question? Like, did, so, do you brush out the brush out them, or are they like sheep and you have to shear them? <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm not being thick on purpose, <laughs> if that's a really stupid question, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I had learned knitting from my gran. Oh, I learned to crochet from your videos, so knitting videos would be good. My hubby wants a card. Yeah, that's the trouble. As soon as you start, everyone wants something, don't they? Okay, Nicola, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it because, yeah, it's not like I don't... It's just I'm not as confident a knitter as I am with the crochet, so um, that's. I think that's why I haven't done it, because I don't like... I don't want to be like, oh, I know how to do it, yeah, oh, I don't know how to do it, because I don't, 100%, I always have to give it to my mum to unpick when I go wrong, still have to do that. 40 years old, and I still have to give it to my mum to unpick, so yes, you know. Red Heart, I've seen in the UK, was just, just different colours, but different types. Okay. Right. No. Why don't they just make everything the same for everyone? Why? Oh. I want the same as everyone else. Yeah, super savers are good, aren't they? The gumdrop, I think I have seen that, but I don't remember what that's like. If you put down your knitting work so long, how would you ever recall where you left off? I don't, I don't, I don't leave it for long knitting because I would forget and I don't do knitting very often, so <laughs> yeah. So which do people think? There's more counting in knitting or more counting in crochet? I find it harder to count the knitting stitches than I do the crochet stitches, I have to admit. Um, in fact, possible. It's practically impossible. I end up with a different number each time. So, yeah. Pound stretchy yarn. No, I have... Um, have I tried pound stretchy yarn? I don't remember. Might have done. I've tried a yarn from Lidl's and Aldi, and they're really nice. They usually sell them in just um, like little projects, don't they? Like make yourself a thing with these three balls. You end up buying five of them <laughs> hmm. to make something different, completely different. Right, they are sweet, like sheep. Ah, see, it wasn't a silly question then, was it? I'm glad that wasn't a silly question. I've would have embarrassed myself a lot, I think. <laughs> so you should that and they're quite tall, aren't they? So that's quite an exciting <laughs> experience, I'd imagine. Shearing a an alpaca. Are they the one that they're the ones with the like have like a bit of a bouffant thing on top of their head, don't they? Sticky out teeth. <laughs> Am I wrong? Is that something else? There are some nice walls and pound stretch, yeah. Isn't it funny how you sort of um, just sort of find random shops that will sell yarn these days? There used to be shops that just used to sell it. Like they used to have yellowed out windscreens, like win uh, yeah windows, didn't they? To stop everything fading on the window. Um, how do you wash something? From? No, the thick of the wall doesn't make. Yeah, you know, I don't think it makes it too heavy, does it? Hi Jeanette, hello from Sweden, wow, hello. 
Ah, so there's Swedish terms, is there? That's interesting. Or is that to just mean like a translation thing? So like Swedish to English language. Or do you actually have something? <clears throat> so is my treble the same as your treble? Or would your treble be like an American treble? <laughs> yeah, well that's interesting. See, I love learning stuff like this. Shears and spinsel. Oh wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? To have your own sheep. Yeah, I don't think I'd, I'd like an alpaca definitely more than a sheep. But I don't think I could shear it. <laughs> I feel like counting practice makes all the difference. Yeah, you can see the stitches, can't you, in the chunkier yarn better. Crochet cotton, size 10 now, hang on a minute, so I have to think about this. So size 3 is the thicker, isn't it? And then it goes to 5 and then 10. Right. Hmm. I need, I've got some yarn over there, which I think, some cotton over there, which I think is a size 10, which is very thin. So you'd be looking at a 1.75 or 1.25 mil with that, am I right? Am I right with that? It's thin, isn't it? It's really thin. So I like doing it, don't do it very often, and I only crochet small things with it. What do you, do you use it? What do you make with it? Um, like really delicate, isn't it? Yeah, I'm the same darling. I don't really know why I am with knitting. Like um, someone saying, if you don't, you leave it for a long time you don't know where you are I don't yeah I just keep going with it oh okay Heather that's good I'll check those out belt backwards that's a good name isn't it yeah well, I might have to watch her videos then <laughs> yes they can make bunches oh how adorable <laughs> Oh, alpaca bunches. Uh, that's it. Girly bunches needs an alpaca then. That's it. Martin, can I have an alpaca please? <laughs> Is he still watching? We'll find out in a minute, won't we? The works. Oh, the works. Yeah, I forget about them. What's that? What, what? Do they sell branded? Do they sell unbranded yarn? Or is it like their own, Nathan? Oh. Oh, did you? There's a slip stitch as a single crochet. A slip stitch is a slip stitch, isn't it? Both sides of the pond. Hmm. So you're more frequent with um, American terms, aren't you? Oh, right. Crochet cotton for Bible cover. Yeah, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? Because it's not too thick, is it? So you've got a nice... It's nice and thin. Yes. I need to check out Very Pink Knits then. <laughs> That's a great name, I like that. So yeah, Zoe, can you say, have you heard of that, um, this book saying that the, the single is the same as a slip stitch? Because I don't think that's right at all. So it's a completely different thing, isn't it? Anyway, someone there, let me know. <laughs> I do like that thin cotton though. It's good for um, filo crochet, isn't it? You heard your tours, you're one of the first to help. Oh, thank you, Beverly. I'm glad I was able to help. <laughs> I think, yeah. That's great. I'm glad I was able to help with that. Oh, I'm wearing myself out now. Right, how's everyone doing? Oh, I can't remember who taught me to crochet. Yeah. Oh, did it? That's interesting. I shall have to investigate that now. Or oh, hang on. Okay. Hmm. So, um, Lynn, are you any like? So, are you able to translate as you go, or you do you find that um, you have to sort of make notes and stuff if you're reading? Because it's you know there are patterns in in British terms, aren't they? So, I'm just doing a little bit more crochet now. Right, so here's a 
do I have a favourite hook size? Um, well, mine's quite good. I think it's this, the technology that's at my hands. Here we go. I have, this is my favourite hook, as you can see. It's in most of my videos. Is that focus? Yay, look at that. Um, it's my 4 mil hook. It used to be purple. <laughs> you can see I've used it a little bit. <laughs> I think 4 mil is actually my favourite. It's my favourite. Yes. What's your favourite hook size? Mm. Yeah, I like 4 mil hooks. I don't really like the bigger hooks. I don't like too chunky hooks. Um, I, quite, I find them a bit unwielding. What have I got? Any, certainly anything I've read and seen in one term, slip stitch is the same thing on both sides of the pond now. Yeah. So I tried to do a bit of research into cro where crochet actually came from and there doesn't really seem to be anywhere that it specifically came from. It's or something that sort of happened. It became popular in the UK, I think, I'm probably wrong, because of Queen Victoria. She liked to have doilies. I think that's what I um I found out. Because of many moons ago I started writing a book and I haven't finished it. <laughs> I still have not finished that book. <laughs> no, I haven't finished it. I might do one day. I'm going to show you something I have already shown on the video, but look at this. See, I did, I did too many chains, okay? I don't want to unpick what I've done, so what you can do is just undo that knot. You have to be really sort of careful with it and gentle, but you can do it. It will, it will go. And then you don't have to. Um... Of course, I'm live and trying to explain something, and of course, it's not going to work. But it does work. I've done a video on it. <laughs> I promise you it works. So you can undo what you've done there. And then bring it back up to where you want it to be. Right, let's see if I can get out of this by answering a question. <laughs> um, the work sells sig Oh, Signet Yarn's nice, isn't it? I like that. I've seen that um, in charity shops. Look, here we go. Look, it does work. So you just undo it like that, and then you can just pull that back up. There you go. See? Didn't have to undo all of your, your hard work there. Top tip. That's my favourite tip. There you go. I love that tip. It's great. <laughs> um, it's the UK way. I don't understand. <laughs> all right, okay, Lynn. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it can get a bit silly, can't it? I do feel sorry for people who don't... Who, who genuinely don't know that there is a difference because they end up getting quite upset about things because I did to begin with I got upset with things because I didn't know that there was a difference I was going to do this in a different colour wasn't I anyway I'm done now I'm doing it in red now um, yeah they don't know there's a difference at all so when you start talking in different terms they get completely confused and that's how I was, I was completely confused, didn't have a clue what people were talking about and then you end up with this project that you spent ages doing and it just doesn't look right. So it's upsetting isn't it, I do understand how frustrating it is that there's different terms but I kind of didn't realise myself really, because um, obviously I was reading British books and stuff so so my channel is British so I kind of st I've stuck with it <laughs> and I didn't want to change halfway through because I didn't want to confuse people further, so I think it's clearer if I just say, right, I always use British terms, and I stick with that, because um, there's plenty of ways of working out how to change it, so, you know, um, and I think it's good to know, to be to be fluent in both crochet terminology language, isn't it? It's always good to be fluent in these things. <laughs> right, um, so back to the questions. Um, what have we got here? Depends on... The book was the 1960s, I believe. I think, oh, right, patterns. Must admit, I was surprised to see it. I've referred, to, I've always referred to it as a slip stitch. Hmm. 
What is, what is Santa? Oh, Sa do you mean Christmas decorations? Santa Ornies, is that what you mean? Christmas decorations. I do like thin. I do like. I do prefer cotton as my as a medium, but I use um, acrylic. Whoops, sorry, bash the camera. I use acrylic in my videos because it's cheaper to buy, and you know, I have to have a stash that I use for my videos to hand. It's a good reason to go to the yarn shop, isn't it? <laughs> and have lots of different colours in. So yes, that's why I buy it. <laughs> Um, what else have we got? I have a three and a half, but just bought four more, thanks to you. <laughs> and one is a four mil hook. Ah, oh, yes. Sorry, I made you buy extra hooks, but you will end up with a full set. Probably like three of everything at some point. I read that Queen Victoria made crochet popular. And she used to do it, didn't she? I think she did, yes. I think they started doing it in really quite bright colours as well. Not in the white. I think don't think it was white that they used to do it. And I think it used to do like bright colours. Hi everyone. Who's searching where crochet began? Really interesting. Oh, is there? I will check that out because I'd like to know that. So I'm doing this granny stripe stitch here. And I'll just muck it up. So I'll start again. Um, but I did that in different colours. I just did a video on that. Did you like that one? I love that one. I'm doing it all in one colour so it's not going to show up as well, but I don't want to sew all the ends in. <laughs> Although I do show you not how, how you don't have to sew all the ends in, don't I? Um, Karen Beswick, Beswick. That name rings a bell actually. I'll have to check that out. I don't really have a favourite hook size, but it depends on the project. But I don't really like to use large hooks so much. No, I don't mind... Um, Aaron weight's nice, isn't it? Well, that's a 5mm hook, isn't it, for that, Zoe? But, um, yeah, if he gets too chunky, it's a bit unwielding, isn't it? I like the delicate things. Ah, I'll have to check that out. It's half past 11 in France. Hello! <laughs> Goodness. That is late, isn't it? I've been wittering on for ages. I'll just keep going if everyone's alright with that. I don't know. Will will the computer fill up, Martin? I've got my husband listening in the other room. He's my tech IT. Will he? Will that just? Will it just stop? So, will it stop broadcasting if the computer fills up? I don't want that to happen. Um, right. Hobby Lobby's own brand. I love this cotton. It's really nice to work with. Yes. Well, there isn't a Hobby Lobby in the UK, is there, Zoe? So we're not. <laughs> that doesn't help me, does it? <laughs> Hi Olivia, my favourite is three and a half and four mil. Oh, I was happy. Right, okay. Moon Wiz, how do we say this? Is it um, um, well, I don't know how to say. It. It's that Japanese um toy making, isn't it? Go on, you can't tell me, can you? <laughs> you can't. I bet you're shouting it at me now. I watch all your, all your YouTube channel. Oh, thank you so much, Moon Wiz. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for watching. Okay, Mini Mum, thank you for coming along. <laughs> See you, bye. <laughs> Ever thought of crocheting in chunky as it crochets? Yes, yeah, I know it does go up quicker, doesn't it? Yeah, I think um, I do think of it, but um, I don't make that many blankets to be honest. So, I, like I said earlier in the video, I've said I've done some in Aran weight, which is a five mil hook. Um, but that's so that goes along a bit quicker, does yeah. Well, Nancy, don't let your dinner spoil. So, thank you very much for coming along, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I that's not me going, I'm just saying goodbye to Nancy. <laughs> I love everything chunky, yes. I like chunky Kit Kats, <laughs> they're nice, aren't they? I like a chunky Kit Kat. Okay, happiest using a three and a half mil and a five mil. That's interesting. Not a full mill. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, I use King Cole Super Saver. Oh, right. King Cole. We get that, don't we? Soft cotton for crocheting. Oh. I need to check that out. I do like King Cole. I used to like... You know, um, I think my favourite yarn, actually, is... Um, well, I've got two favourites, if I'm honest. It's... Um, this that I'm using now, which is the the WI, that's the Women's Institute, it is, and that's exclusive, look at that, to Hobbycraft. I love this, it's really nice, 
it's quite cheap as well I like cheap it's always good isn't it and Starcraft love Starcraft yarns um, they're acrylic double knit because it comes in like a million different colours I think it's uh, exaggerated obviously um, is it like 50 odd 57 odd shades not 50 shades none of that thank you about I think it might be more than that actually um, right I'm going to come back to me because I'm getting bored of that <laughs> me <laughs> right um, I was triple <laughs> I, I almost I almost say tipple I was a little tipple of something instead of treble that would be nice <laughs> so yeah I need to check out yeah thanks naughty mum that doesn't help me does it <laughs> Ami, amigurami um, I won't say it again I'm murdering that um yes we should get what about what's the other names of the shops that are there hobby lobby and what are the other names i like to think that um that they would listen to us because we've got money to spend haven't we like we want to give them money who who wouldn't want to listen to us if we're saying if you open a shop here we will give you our money that makes a business sense isn't it I love chunky arms and 10 to 12 and a half they're millimeters are they hooks wow that's so that's massively chunky isn't it yeah it works out fast last minute.com <laughs> I lived in China for a year and found some wonderful colors did you so excuse me so are you using two strands or is that actually just like is it super chunky yarn that's they're big hooks. I've got a. I think I've got a twelve here, actually. Have I got to, no ten? So if anyone, I'm showing off my hooks now. Here we go. Technology. Here we go. Da da. So that's my four mil, and that's a ten mil hook. That's massive. Oh my God, that's massive. So. So yeah, are you just using one strand with that? And that's just massively chunky yarn. Do yarn fairs? I found out there have been the other week, and I haven't really gone to many. I don't think I trust myself going to many yarn fairs. Mm. Oh right, okay, right, okay, get you now. Mm. No, that's me. I need the coffee. Sorry, not you. That's just me being thick and not understanding you. <laughs> yes, yeah. If you say, will you start that petition, and um, we'll sign it. Absolutely. Lynn, you Starcraft too, do you? Yes, it's nice, isn't it? It washes up well too. Ami Gurumi. I like that. Thanks, Naughty Mum. Ami Gurumi. I can say that. Even I can say that. Thank you. <laughs> I spent quite a lot of Starcraft. Oh, right, your Doctor Who scarf. You're knitting that, aren't you? You're knitting that, aren't you, I think. Michael's and Joanne's fabrics. Oh, don't get me started on fabrics. Me, me, wish we had the proper yarn shop. Oh, okay, so do not... Right, okay, so that's interesting, isn't it, that you said that, because to me they would be yarn shops as well. Because we've got Hobbycraft in the UK, they, and they, they sell Hobbycraft, like they'll sell everything hobby-related, They and they even sell like Airfix kits for, I'm not going to say boys, but for people who want to make aeroplanes and cars and stuff so they sell an art supply set for your painter and um, picture framing and beads and jewellery stuff so they sell everything including yarn and so it's a bit of everything so um, so is it Hobby Lobby then would they have more specific for yarn so is there a specific yarn shop in America or is it just your stores are all craft stuff because when I've seen I've seen videos of craft shops in America and I've seen is it is it Z me ladies is it is she's done pictures of inside the um what I'm trying to say is I'm getting all flustered but the yarn racks are like 20 of them but in hobby craft in the UK there's like one and a half yarn racks honestly it's embarrassing I have done a video walking around my local yarn shop it's heartbreaking I think I would just weep in the aisles if I got to <laughs> if I got to America and went into one of those craft shops. I would just weep for the fact that we don't have that here. Pronounce it like Army Garun Rani, Army Army Garun Rani. 
Super chunky yarn. Right, it must be super chunky, yes. Boys carry some nice wool too. Boys, not heading that. Moorland style crop. Is it? That's interesting. Naughty Mum and Ravel is on soon. Oh, yes. Boy, boys, okay, got you. Michaels and Joanne's. Wool Warehouse and I get mine. Right, okay. I've not heard of Lusciously Loopy. Lusciously Loopy, I need to check that one out. What's my favourite hook brand to use? Um, uh, I don't, right, it's easy for me to say, I don't really like the pony ones. They pony, well, they're the grey ones because they're a bit rough. They're metal ones, they're a bit rough. I do not like to use plastic hooks, I don't like those at all. And um, honestly, I bought this set of hooks. I bought this set of hooks very early on and this one came with it and I th honestly I think I got them on eBay for a few pounds for the whole lot and this has honestly been my favourite set however I really do like those Addy Swing hooks with the bigger handles I do like those a lot because if you're really getting into something um, they're quite nice to hold so again they're over there in a they're over there and I've got a whole set built around me so I'm not going to break down the set just to go and get a hook but I'm sure you've seen them Addy swings they're really nice I know Zoe uses them so um but um I don't really like it now I'm going to explain why I don't like some hooks with handles and some of you know um because when you're doing crochet work I'm going to demonstrate now because I can. Um, I like I my yarn travels up and down this the hook part here quite a lot, and sometimes when you've got the handles, you're limited to sort of only being able to bring it down this far. And sometimes if you're doing like a triple treble, you get a little bit limited in your range. Like you can't sort of move it down the hook a bit and give yourself a bit more slack. So if you're a beginner, don't necessarily think the ones with handles on are too great. But that's just my opinion. And obviously, um, people have different sort of things going on with their hands. So if it's you know if it's easier for you to hold something thicker, then um, then that's better for you. But I have seen people use um, pen grips on crochet hooks. So um, if you are using this and you know it's hurting your hand then maybe try a pen grip they're like those rubber things that just go around uh, foam rubber things that sort of go around that might help you with that and you still get that range to move the yarn up and down the hook so I don't necessarily have a favorite one this this is my favorite hook but it's not really a brand as such it's sort of a bit of a nondescript cheap from China brand but um yeah good question though uh, I don't like ordering online Yes, I exactly know what you mean, like, because you want to touch the yarn, because there's nothing worse than getting some itchy yarn, is there? <clears throat> nice to touch the goods, but yes, <laughs> as long as it's just me touching it, <laughs> I don't like, don't like touching things. Um, Starcraft have a huge range of colours and so soft, not tried, do you know, um, Nikki, the um, WI yarn is very, very similar, and if... I was the sort of person to suggest such a thing. I might even suggest that it's the same, but I'm not that sort of person to say that. You didn't hear that from me. <laughs> Honestly, the way it feels, it's so similar to Starcraft. And what's it does? They don't have a massive range of colours, but they do have nice colours. Um, the ginger. All three of these colours are. Um, adjust my camera here. Yep. If I just lift that up, can you see that? Yeah, so we've got this lovely pink, a red, this turquoise. They do really nice colours. They're sort of, they're nice bright colours, but they're a bit muted. So I really love these. I love that WI stuff. Yeah, very similar to Starcraft, if you like that. Um, who else have we got? What else have we got? Um, yeah, it's sad, isn't it, Zoe? How little that we have <laughs> and it's expensive it's really expensive like um they have cheap yarn it's either it's either it's either cheap and it feels cheap which is why i like this wi yarn because it's cheap but doesn't feel cheap or it's you know it's like eight pounds for a ball of yarn and 
as pretty as it will be, I'm sure, I am not paying eight pounds, especially if it's 50 grams of yarn. I am not doing it. I just can't justify it. I just can't do it. I won't do it. It's eight pounds. What does that equate to in, in, in American money and dollars? I don't know. It's too much, my book. I like affordable things. <laughs> um, not because it's just going to sit there <laughs> for a year. <laughs> That's not true. That wouldn't happen. Right, what else have we got here? What tutorials are you planning on bringing us in this year? How far ahead do you plan? And do you need a... I always need project ideas. I always need project ideas. Please do not be back with it. Coming forward in project ideas. The things I can't really do. Right, okay, this is the thing. So people say to me, can you show me how to make... And it's like this massive, great big thing. So the first first problem I have is I I don't... So, so for if it's for a kid or something, I don't really have access to a child to uh, measure them up against. And I think my friends might think I'm a bit weird. I was like, can I just borrow your child to measure up this thing for them? And um, yes, so I like small projects because they're quicker and you can cover them easier in a, a video. I'm thinking about doing sort of maybe larger projects, um, but they would have to stretch across um, more than one week. So how do people feel about that um yeah if it's something that I don't really need myself I don't really want to end up with one if that makes sense so like it's a, a I don't know a cardigan I just like I have to do small scale because it's quicker and so like I did a poncho and I showed you how to make a poncho for a teddy bear but that you can also upscale that and make that for a person so that's the sort of projects that I kind of lean towards um I'd like to say that I plan well in advance but I don't often I admit to that but I think the um the um gingerbread house I started doing that in August and I finally got that up at the end of November was it or the beginning of November that was the biggest project I've done and that took a lot of planning and that was over four weekends of filming and editing yeah, four weekends of filming, then like another couple of weekends of editing, and a lot of stress, and I loved it. <laughs> but um, do we need more project ideas? Don't have any sort of specifically outlined ones. I'm just trying to think what to do for Christmas because I'm not going to do that to myself again. I need to start earlier than August. <laughs> I need to start earlier than August. Um, but um, Loop in London is a proper yarn shop. Oh, right, okay, that's another place I shouldn't go. But yes, always feel free to give me ideas for videos um i do pl try to plan i do try to plan ahead what i try to like to do is film sort of maybe four or five videos in one hit because then that gives me time to kind of um plan ahead for the next five videos and that also gives me four weekends off of filming but um i do have very noisy neighbors and <sighs> that really limits when I can film so I'm kind of lucky now they're not actually doing anything I think they're out now um but I did get a great Christmas present a birthday present which allows me to um film when it's dark so that's great so that means I can film I don't have to wait for the sun to come up to film and I can do it when I need to or you know when they're not being noisy so that's that really helps so um, yes, that was a long-winded answer. <laughs> I didn't really answer it, did I? Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, but my hobby lobby is minimised. They on. Oh, two aisles. Oh no, that's awful. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> EYF. Who's that? Alright. Where can I get W? Um, Moonwiz Hobbycraft to sell it. They sell the um, WI Women's in Women's Institute yarn. Is that just in the UK? Women's Institute. It is, isn't it? It's not in, not anywhere else, is it? I have noticed Michaels in the US seem to reduce. Why are they reducing it? Why? Work right, for summer. Okay. All right. The WI was really nice. Yes, it's three for two, isn't it? So that's always nice. I love trebles and double treble. I love a tre I like a half treble actually. <laughs> yeah. If you do bigger stitches, which need more loops, the ones with chunky handles can be a pain. 
yes that's yeah that's what i was saying isn't it yeah it can be difficult to get all those loops on that end of that hook and keep them because like, you need to keep them to keep the stitch consistent and even tension you need to have the loops the same don't you so if you can't if one ends up stretching then it gets a bit warped so i prefer inline so that's an inline isn't it well hang on hang on let's use it i've got it let's use it so that's in line, isn't it? So it doesn't have that big sort of hooky bit there. It's sort of quite, is that right? Because that's what I prefer. I don't like the ones that have a real sharp hook so that they, they sort of come back down on themselves a bit more, don't they? Again, I've got one over there, which um, I didn't bring. I don't have access to it's over there. Can't reach it. Um, so yes, I think that's what you mean, isn't it? I prefer those. So they're a bit easier for me. Um, I wrapped a rubber band on mine because I didn't have the grips. Oh, okay, right. That's a good idea. I like your thinking there. That's a good idea. I like the Addy Swing. Yes, you've used those, don't you? But the metal park isn't very long. No, it's not. I bought Fusion from Amazon. Brilliant for me. I'm not Fusion. Have I used? Hmm. Crafting shop, nearly two. I don't think I've ever seen American yarn sold in 50 gram balls. I know. Yeah, they do sell them in 50. Is it so that they can charge more, Zoe? Is that what it is? I think. Do you or have anyone else suggested a fingering or sport a gradient acrylic yarn that's not expensive, $10 or less? Hmm. So what's fingering weight? Is that like... That's not double knit, is it? That's it's thinner, isn't it? So you're using about a three mil hook for that, aren't you? I suppose. Oh, I don't know. Not acrylic, no. Most acrylics I know of are double knit or chunky. <clears throat> Susan Bates set of knit picks Caspian set. Ooh, that sounds nice. Let's check those out. Eight pounds is ten dollars. Yeah, that's is that expensive then? For people in America, is that what's the normal price? Okay, thanks, Zoe, for dropping by. Talk to you soon. Um, I just got a set with handles, and I'm not sure I'm happy with them yet. Okay, what sort of set did you get, darling? What is it? Was it a brand? Or was it? And if you, are you experiencing what I was saying about how the hook? You can't get the yarn onto the hook so much. Prim is my favourite, but are they? Oh, Amber, are those hooks like like my metal ones, but sort of just silvery looking? Is that what they're like? Because I've I've seen them, but I don't think I've got them. I like the look of them, but I haven't actually. They're not plastic ones, are they? The Prim hooks. <clears throat> Off to bed, Lynn. Take care, and night then. <laughs> um, bullion stitches. Oh. That is something I'd really love to show you, but I can't do them. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're difficult. Yeah, I can't do those at all. I've tried so many times. They say that you should put like a, a needle over the the hook part. As I've seen, like they say, when I say that, let me show you. Let me show you. They say that if you, because you have to wrap the yarn around and round and round, don't you? And pull it through. And I, I've seen people say that if you put like a needle over like that, it and then before you pull through all the loops, like that's just a big darning needle. That's supposed to make it easier. What's that? I started using a latch hook. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I might have to try that. I love brilliant stitches. Right, Amber, that's interesting. I'm going to try that then. A latch hook. Is that for, like, making um, rugs with? Is that what you mean? I'm hoping to trade between our country's kids. Yes, that would be good. How about a gnome centre? Oh, do you mean, like, the little... Um... I know what you mean. Yes. Yes, all right. Write that down, quick, write it down. 
<laughs> right, yeah, I know what you mean. That'd be, that'd be a good project. Yeah, that'd be cute. I saw those last year. I've seen knitted ones, but I haven't seen any crochet ones. I'm sure there are some. As everyone get lost on Pinterest, that would be, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But with a handle. Oh, is it? Okay, I need to look those up then. So is the is the handle big or is it quite like narrow? So I think I think I actually do know what you mean now. Actually, do they come in different colours? The handle? Are they always black? Am I thinking of something else? Oh, right. I recently bought my first crochet light. Oh, they're great, aren't they? Oh, I know that squeak. Oh, that squeak is nuts, isn't it? It's ridiculous. That on the so that's the. Um, the the what the hook that lights up also over there not and um, here um, yeah that's brilliant isn't it but that is plastic isn't it so the squeak on it is ridiculous so it's like squeak 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 I hate it but like you say you can see your stitches if you're using black or like navy blue yarn it's impossible isn't it to see what you're doing um okay yeah it's quite Right, hang on. So this is the latch hook. It's quite fine, and the latch flips shut over the yarn. Still fiddling that. Right, I'm going to try that then, because that's my mum does embroidery, and she's always doing these bullion stitches, and I love them. And you can make some really, really pretty things with those bullion stitches, especially in crochet or oh, and in embroidery as well. But um, yes, I need to try that. Am I light going again? find my light <laughs> yeah I think I might be going to see yeah, that's right for a minute um right I'm going to try that with a latch hook then see I just love this we're all chatting away learning stuff love it I love it thank you everyone for thank you for dropping by and being so generous with your time and knowledge with all these people that you I don't know if you will talk to each other elsewhere or whatever but it's I love this this is brilliant I'm going to definitely do lives again if that's okay <laughs> I prefer them to the vlogs actually because I just yeah I can witcher on for ages now I've done one that's it I'll probably do more now I was very nervous today about doing this fingering is four ply sock right okay right yeah they probably do that yeah yeah sock yarn it's nice but it can be a bit itchy can't it or was that just me? <laughs> I've got tutorial. I've got a tutorial for socks. You have got one. If you have, that'd be great. Or you're asking me to do one. <laughs> I don't know. Frame is a metal hook and back handle. I recently thought I'd done that. Yeah, it's quite fine. Done that. I learned bullion from freeform crochet book. One with a blue cover. Okay. Yeah, I know the principle. It's just executing it. I get stuck with. <laughs> I'm making penguins over Christmas. Oh yeah. Oh, what a sweetheart. But your husband bought you a hook like that. Sweet. Did he know about that or did you have to hint, like accidentally leave up the Amazon page for him to see it? And you're like, oh, wouldn't that be useful? If only I could see this black yarn, if only I had this hook. <laughs> Little tactics there. Right, Prim has a series of black handled ones, not too big and coloured ones. Oh, right, okay. Nice. I found I don't like to start with it but I find it yeah I don't hardly I don't think I've hardly any, made anything in black just something I don't really I can't see it so I've got new glasses now though so I might be able to see it better now <laughs> I've been really yes hasn't it Sally it's just lovely isn't it yeah so I've really yes right it's only me that's somebody not not me <laughs> um yeah I'm definitely going to do more big hints, Sally. They, yes, of course. Good girl. <laughs> right, guys, my lights are fading and I can't be in the dark. <laughs> and I don't want to go because I've enjoyed this so much. But I am going to do this again. And um, can you believe I, I didn't get one? What? How did you not get a crochet related present? That's outrageous. Tell me their names. I'll, I'll tell them off. <laughs> oh, that's oh. I'm sure they'll make up for it. 
they love you really I'm sure okay right I'm gonna go now guys because I've talked for too long my voice is almost gone my lights are fading I'm sad to go because I don't want to go because I've enjoyed this so much thank you so much for dropping by this has been brilliant I'm doing it again I've said that before I'm rambling now I'm tired <laughs> and um, right, I'm going thank you so so much for coming and sharing your time with me and with everyone else and um, yep yeah. right I'm gonna try and end this now I might still be going click 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 trying to <laughs> work out how to uh, stop it but uh, right thank you very much for joining me it's been a pleasure have a lovely rest of your evening or day and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.